Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's video, I will do last theorem of the topic, normal subgroup. That is very important theorem and the result which is based on it. So let's start with theorem statement. Let H be a subgroup of G, then H is normal in G if and only if H A H B is equal to H A B. This is a very important theorem and this theorem I will directly use while doing question subgroup. So watch it carefully. If you have any doubt then don't forget to ask me in the comment section. So this is an if and only if condition so I will do it in two parts. First one is necessary and second one is sufficient part. Suppose first that H is normal subgroup of G. Now consider H A H B. What are the type of elements in H A H B? First of all, what I am doing here, I will write it like this. And this is possible because by associative law. You will ask that associative law holds for elements. Now what are the type of elements in H A? It will have H A such that H belongs to H. And H A B means what are the type of elements in H B? H A B such that H belongs to H. So whatever operations we are performing here, we are performing with respect to elements only. So we can apply the associative law here. So H A H B we can combine A H first. So this is H of A H B. This is A H so you can write it as H A B. Because H is normal subgroup of G therefore a H is equal to H A which is equal to now you can again combine it like this A B by associative law this is what H A B by closure so, H A H B is equal to H A B for all A B belongs to G because those A and B were arbitrary. Now conversely, we have to prove that H is normal subgroup of G. To prove H is normal subgroup of G. For this, I can use either of these three definitions that I have mentioned earlier. That I am giving you three definitions for normal subgroup. And I can use any one of these while proving any result. So, let X belongs to H and G belongs to G. We have to prove that H is normal subgroup of G. We will prove that to prove G X G inverse belongs to H. For this consider G X G inverse. So you can write this as E G X G inverse. Now what will you do? You can combine E G first by associative law and write this like this. By associative law. So this EG belongs to HG and this XG inverse belongs to this X is a part of this E is a part of HG as it is. This X belongs to H so it belongs to like this and this is directly G inverse which is equal to HGG inverse because we have given 
H A H B is equal to H A B for all A B belongs to G. So in particular for this X and for this G also. So this is H E which is equal to H. Therefore G X G inverse belongs to H. Since X and G are arbitrary. Therefore, result holds for all x and for all g. Therefore, g x g inverse belongs to h. For all x belongs to h. And for all g belongs to g. Therefore, we got h is normal subgroup of g. Now, when result is there which is based on this theorem. And if in exam they will ask you this result, then first of all we have to prove this theorem and then only we have to apply the result. So let's start with the result. Let H be a subgroup of G, then H is normal subgroup of G if and only if the product of right cosets of H in G is again a right coset of H in G. Now <coughs> we have given H is a subgroup of G and H is normal subgroup of G. We have to prove that product of two right cosets of H in G is again a right coset of H in G. Let H A H B belongs to sorry B2 right cosets. Then from Theorem 2 means the previous theorem in this video. We have H A H B is equal to H A B which is again a right coset of H N G. That's all for uh, by proving this you have to directly prove the necessary part of previous theorem. Again, now we have to prove its sufficient part means converse part. What we have to do? We had given the product of two right cosets of H and G is again a right coset of H and G. We have to prove to show H is normal subgroup of G. For this, what we will show? That is to show its uh, the, the sufficient part of previous theorem that is H A H B is equal to H A B for all A B belongs to G. By given condition we have given product of two right cosets is again a right coset that is H A H B is equal to H C for some C belongs to G. Now, watch this step carefully. Consider AB. You can write this AB as EAB. This belongs to HAB. And again, if you will consider AB, you can write it as EAEB. So, this belongs to HAHB. Therefore, AB belongs to their intersection. Therefore, HAB intersection HAHB is non-empty. Now, what is HAB? We will fix HAB here. And this is HAHB we have given is HC. So, this is non-empty. So, we are getting this intersection as non-empty and we know that two right cosets, since two right cosets 
are either identical or disjoint. Therefore, H A B is equal to H C. Therefore, what we are getting H A H B is equal to H A B. And this is for all A B belongs to G. Because these H A and H B were arbitrary right cosets of H in G. Therefore, from theorem 2, we have H is normal subgroup of G from this theorem. In the next video, I will do another important topic of group theory that is questioned group. Now what are the groups are called question groups and its complete explanation and later on its properties I will do in the upcoming videos. This particular video is very important from examination point of view as well as its direct application is there in the case of question group. So if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button and in future if you want to see similar kind of videos then don't forget to subscribe for my channel. Thank you so much for watching this.